I'm going to put this basket on my head. Watch me. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to go outside. Don't worry about me. I'll be just fine. Oh, good morning. It is Tuesday. I'm having my coffee in my blessed coffee mug because I need the blessings. Very tired last night, was crazy. I had Daniel at the emergency room and he had fevers and coughing and just seemed really, really sick all weekend. So we took him back based on what the doctor wanted me to do. They didn't find anything. He still doesn't feel good today. They decided not to keep us because they couldn't find anything. I mean, he was Really, they didn't have anything to treat other than fever and felt that he would be better off at home, which I agreed. It was like 11.30. They already had the admission paperwork done. They were going to bring us up to our room. But when everything was coming back with no problems, it was pristine, as they said. Let's, let's take him home and let him rest at home. So we made a decision. We changed the paperwork and they discharged me. It was about 11.30. I was so hungry. I'm so hungry. This is my... Julia, the hospital story, because I got there at 2. I mean, I thought maybe a few hours. I didn't think it would take me like 10 hours or whatever. I don't know, 2. So I had had not had much for breakfast because I don't tend to eat much in the early parts of the day because this new medicine that I'm on is like, it affects your appetite. When you find a source of relief after being worried and then you kind of calm down, it's like, okay, oh yeah, I'm hungry now that I'm calm and I'm not worrying as much. Anyway, I went to McDonald's at like quarter of 12 on the way home. I saw the sign and said, open 24 hours. And I was like, yeah. So I got a cheeseburger and I went home and I was like, oh, crazy. Anyway. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was laughing at myself in the car because it never tasted so good. <laughs> it was just so late and I was so tired and I'd been <laughs> so much. Anyhow, I have my nurse Chris downstairs with him, and I'm going to kind of look, see, just sit down with my laptop here and try to get a video uploaded and keep up with you, you guys. I just want you to know, I get, because um, a lot of you are on Facebook, and a lot of you are, are connected with me on YouTube, the encouraging messages that just come through. I sit there in the hospital, just read them and read them and read them, and it just makes me feel like I got a, <laughs> I got a lot of people like uh, cheerleaders, you know what I mean? Like, because it's hard, and sometimes I feel like I'm really alone. And then I start reading all your messages. Uh, just, just really wanted to thank you for being caring about my son and about what we go through. And I'm very grateful uh, for that. So we have a very weird life, you know. It's it's hard because they'll do a whole barrage of tests. You name it, they did it. And he still has a fever and he's coughing. Was it viral? Could be. But anything is a complication with Daniel. So any cough can go into aspiration. Any aspiration can go into pneumonia or not. You know, and it's like, <laughs> just trying to take care of him. But he's tired and he's sleepy and he's downstairs just relaxing. Today, it's April vacation. Kids don't have school all week. I have nothing planned, obviously. <laughs> Anyway, this one here was quite happy that I wasn't staying overnight. So anyway, I just want to thank you guys. You're great. I mean, I just feel like this journey that I'm sharing with you kind of doesn't feel as lonely when you know people are kind of learning from what you're talking about and watching and caring. And um, it really helps my happiness factor go from like here to here, just knowing that for some reason people are moved and inspired and vice versa. You know, I watch other people's stories and I try to be as reciprocal as I can. It's hard when you're a special needs mom to keep up with all of your social media, but I try, you know, Mr. Old Lap, look to have that too. All right. <laughs> oh, I 
wish I could have a vacation be people. I just wish I could see the beach and the sun and just sit in a chair with a cold beverage and a book. <laughs> I'll be okay. I am happy to say that spring is definitely back. It's nice and warm. Perfect, really. 60s-ish. So Henry and I have just been out walking. Come on. No, John no, no, just no. got home. I lost track of like, time today. I, I don't know. I was laying down. I finished Sarah's taxes. Got all her stuff done for college. And I uh, uploaded a video. <clears throat> so, so we all have our guilty pleasures, right? For me, it's like The Walking Dead and Game of Thrones. Oh my god, who else watches the Game of Thrones and is counting the days? I cannot wait. I'm reading the books. I'm on Dance with Dragons. I'm about three quarters of the way through it. And now I'm getting really confused because it's like now I'm past, sort of past some of the storyline. It doesn't go with the movie all the time. And so they changed some things and um, the storyline, the timeline changes. But you're reading the book going, is that going to happen in this show? Or is that something that they're going to cut or alter? Anyway, storylines. <laughs> so the book is really good. <laughs> and I'm like, and then um, if you watch Game of Thrones, they did come out with the, the second trailer yesterday. And um, so intense. Anyway, I'm looking forward to that. <sighs> and that's kind of what I'm thinking about at this moment. Dale's in with his nurse, still not feeling well. Big giant tossed salad of life. It's like Tuesday and I'm so tired and so worried about him. And I'm like, when am I gonna go to work? <laughs> I, I don't have set hours. I should, but I feel like every time I do, I can't do them. And uh, it's just too much. I, I was going to sit down and work from home. Every time I turn on the computer and start to do stuff, I get sleepy. Anyway, my family comes Part first. My family coming first is being able to pay for a lot of the things. And uh, extraneous things. I think it's very important for them to have, um, whoa, things like music lessons. I mean, I started when they were five, putting them in piano lessons and um, dance lessons and things like whatever they wanted to do and things have changed through the years, but you know, they're, they're, they're very important to me. So if I have to work to earn money to pay for the rental fees on the instruments, I'll do it. But I'm not doing very well at it right now. So I'm falling backwards. But anyway, I mean, other than being tired, I feel good. I feel good. So, there's my neighbor. All right, Popsky, let's go inside and see what's happening, all right? Oh, it's gorgeous, gorgeous. John's been working on the grass. He, but he's doing some work to make it nice and green. He works hard on the yard. He's the yard man. The yard man. Oh. My dog. <laughs> oh, what are you doing, John? Want to go to bed? Ten thirty. <laughs> dog, stop barking. You scare me. I'm a little freaked out because we think there's a bear. <laughs> My neighbor had all her trash moved way deep into the woods, <laughs> and I had to go retrieve it. And it looks like a bear got it, because we have one or have seen one, but. Yeah, we're starting to have evidence that it's been around. So, walking the dog at night in the dark is a little creepy. 
Stop! It's even creepier when he barks relentlessly out the windows at nothing. Or so I think it's nothing. What if it is? What if he's like out there right in the woods like 10 feet away from me and I can't even see it? Like, isn't that scary? Daniel is sleeping. He's had Advil and Tylenol and he seems comfortable from it. I'm gonna go outside and walk and drink a little bit. 